so praise God this morning today is the new year Eve 24 of the 12th of the 2017 so we celebrate the birth of Jesus who was born for us the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter number 9 verse 7 verse 6 through 7 that a child is born and the government will be in his shoulder and he will be the Prince of Peace, wonderful counselor, and he will be the God who will establish the everlasting kingdom that will never end. So we need to swim into Jesus as our chief cornerstone. The stone which the builder rejected has become the chief cornerstone. God wants us to swim into his presence. He wants us to swim in the deep ocean. This, when I look at me, I am at the shore of this for mass of water. So God wants us to, us to swim inside there to the middle of the water where there is deep blessing of God. He doesn't want us to keep my timing in the seashore. God wants us to swim in the deep ocean. So this, as you celebrate Christmas, remember to swim into the deep ocean where there is blessing of God. Swim into the deep ocean. Don't keep my timing in the seashore. Always the same story today and forever. Same story, same things. You never grow. We need to grow and move from one step to the other. The Bible says in the book of James chapter 1 that we should, we should consider its pure joy to go through hard time because it's the pathway and stepping stone for our growth. So we need to grow as a Christian through problems of life, issues of life, don't complain and attacking your mate because of the problem. Sometimes we may be weak but we need to pray that we may have the blessing of God. The Bible says, as I have said in the book of James chapter 1, that we grow through problems and persecution and we need to take it happiness to go through many trials of many kinds because it's our stepping stone for growth. We grow through problems, through mistakes. And the Bible also says in the book of Peter, 1 Peter, I think, chapter 4, Do not consider it strange for the things you are going through, my brother, my sister. It is according to the purpose of God that we be found worthy and acceptable before God. They are ordained to help us grow as Christians, to be able to know and to be able to pray. Paul said in the book of Corinthians that he was living with the angel of Satan. And when he told God to remove the agents, God said, I put him there that you don't boast. So you pray when he torments you and insults you. Sometimes things can happen in your life that God can let them happen. God does not do it or does not tempt anyone or put anyone in trouble. But some things can, God can let them happen for his glory. That you may grow in perfection and in, in, in completeness of God. And you may be able to pray and you'll be purified. Because the Bible says in the book of uh, Daniel chapter number 11, that the saints will be clean and made spotless until the coming of Christ. Some of the things will come for us to help us grow in Christianity. So some things may come to you so you may be clean and be found perfect in perfect likeness of God. The goal is tested by fire. God may make you go through some things so that you may be shine. So that the way you can look yourself in a mirror and see yourself. God wants to see you like a mirror. He sees yourself in he sees himself in you like a mirror. He sees himself in you like a mirror. Some things may happen to you with the reason and with the purpose. When the Lazaro died, Jesus told his disciples it is for, for his glory, that his glory to be glory, for him to be glorified in that death, to show that he has the power by hearing, not only hearing, but resurrection. Because Mother and Mary thought that uh, the death of Mary was their end because they saw Jesus as a, resurrect, a hearer on it. But God showed them and demonstrated that he has power over death. They, though their faith was limited to the hearing of Jesus. But Jesus resurrected Lazaro to show them that the power of God is unlimited. It's above healing, but he got to resurrect. God can resurrect a dead situation that is in your life. A dead marriage. He can resurrect your dead career, your dead circumstance. He is a resurrector, not only a healer of your problem. He can resurrect you from and even if you are buried by the enemy, he can resurrect you and rejuvenate you for better, not for worse. So remember to swim in the deep ocean. 
this Christmas and the, as we go and usher to the new year. Swim to the deep ocean where there is blessing of God. Stop my timing in the seashore. Keep going inside where there is blessing of God. Be blessed. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. In Jesus' mighty holy name.